Well, hello everyone! <laughs> Did you miss me? Anyways, I hope you're all excited for a new review by yours truly. So, uh... Betty Boop. You may or may not have heard of her. At the very least, you've probably seen her in some form of merch. But to put it simply, she was one of the most iconic cartoon characters of the early days of animation. Now, maybe not as iconic as, say, Mickey Mouse or Popeye, but still pretty great. Not only that, but she is also regarded as one of the first cartoon female sex symbols. Yeah, so if you ever think about all the different animated attractive female characters that have ever existed, just know that Betty is the one that established everything. Now, when it comes to me and what I think of Betty Boop, well, to be honest, I've only seen a few cartoons when I was younger, and I thought they were pretty good. Nothing I'd call spectacular, but that's probably because I'm a tail end of the 90s kid, so old cartoons from the 30s aren't really my cup of tea. Though I could definitely picture how neat they must have been back when they first came out. Also, Cuphead did a wonderful job capturing the vibe of that era, and helped me appreciate it even more. But as for Betty Boop, like I said, I've only seen a few cartoons featuring her, but I swear, she makes more appearances on merchandise than in any form of media. Like, how many people who own Betty Boop merch actually know she starred in cartoons? Well, I know I did. And by the way, yes, I actually do own some merch. I won this particular Betty Boop doll from a claw machine at a local CC's Pizza back in my teen days. And as proof, here's a picture of me after winning the doll with probably the dumbest smile I've ever made in my life. Alright, get that out of here. It's time to focus on the main topic at hand. The Betty Boop video games. I had a random thought pop into my head one day. Do there exist any Betty Boop video games? I mean, it seems like something someone would make. Maybe one on the NES, and another one that's both on SNES and the Genesis. You know, because that usually happened. Let's just see what they got. Okay, so looks like it's mostly just mobile games. Uh, we also got one Flash game. But anything on a console- Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Betty Boop's Double Shift. Well, okay then. Let's just hope it's not a double shit show, am I right? The story of this game revolves around Betty wanting to make lots of money so she can move to the city. Thankfully, she's offered by old Grampy here to work at his jazz club and make all the money she wants. That's it. That's the premise. So, at this diner slash jazz club, which despite being owned by Grampy, is called Betty's, you take control of Betty, and you must go around and serve candy and milkshakes to customers, as well as perform on stage for them after some time has passed. Hence the double shift. Here's how you do it. You wait for the customers to raise their hands, and tap on them to walk over and take their order. If it's a piece of candy, grab one for the dish and take it to them. If it's milkshakes, bring the ticket to the counter, wait for the milkshakes, then serve. Rinse and repeat until you're called on to the stage. For the second portion, all you do is just tap the notes that are shown on screen in the correct order. For whatever reason, it's not in any sort of rhythm. You just have to tap them correctly before the red dot goes away. Honestly, this is missed potential. I mean, rhythm games are fun, and you have a good setup here. But no, there's no rhythm to this at all. You just tap the notes and then call it a shift. And that's pretty much it for each level. Just serve the customers and sing to them. The less you screw up, the more money they tip you. The more money you're tipped, the more likely you are to make enough to advance to the next level. And there's 25 of them. 25 levels of serving customers candy and milkshakes and singing to them. It sounds a bit monotonous, but things do change here and there as you advance through the levels. Such as more tables being added, and the option to take different kinds of music requests. And of course, it gets progressively more challenging to where you have to scramble to satisfy all the impatient-ass customers. Like seriously, it just gets out of control with these guys. They're waiting for freaking candy and milkshakes. It's not like they're waiting for the next Nintendo Direct to be announced. So these customers have a heart meter similar to something you'd see in a Zelda game. But instead of health, it represents their patience. This includes both taking their order when they raise their hands, and serving their order or playing the music they request. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, in later levels they add music that can be requested by customers. All you do for that is tap one of the music icons, and a tune will play for about 30 seconds. 
It also serves as a way to entertain the crowd outside the club. But yeah, the music's actually not that hard to handle. The only issue is if you got more than one table requesting two different songs. Then you're kinda screwed. For example, you might have two tables requesting the same song, so you play it for them, but then you got another table waiting to hear a different song, but like I mentioned before, the songs last about 30 seconds, so they're forced to wait it out. And if you think they'd be okay waiting that 30 seconds, well, just listen to them. Look, nobody wants to wait for anything, I get that, but I hate to break it to you buckos, we all gotta wait! What I consider to be the most frustrating situation in this game is when everyone starts raising their hands at once. You can only carry two things at a time, so if there's a third table waiting to order, you can't just take their order until you bring the other tickets back. And it only takes a few seconds for them to get impatient. And when they do, now you gotta wait for them to raise their hands again. It just throws everything off. Staying on top of this shit is tough, but the game expects you to do it anyway, and if not, then chances are you might not make enough tips to move on to the next level. The singing portion, while easy, doesn't nearly give you enough money than attending to the customers and keeping up with their patients. Now there are these gold stars you could sometimes get and tap on to help bring hearts back up, but it only helps so much as you can only use it once per level. So if you suck like I do, you could use those stars and maybe you'll get by. Ugh, I didn't make enough tips. Oh, god damn it. Okay, I'm through here. I made it up to level 14. That's the best I could do. I'm not that good at these kinds of games, okay? Which, by the way, this is pretty much a clone of that one game, Diner Dash. Except, you know, played on a touch screen, starring Betty Boop. There is an ending after you beat level 25. All it is is just Betty and her friends celebrating the success of the club, and now Betty's ready to move to the city. Then the credits roll as they dance and play instruments at the bus stop. That's the game! I mean, what else can I really say? Betty Boop's double shift feels like it was just made out of boredom for a quick buck. Maybe one of the developers was playing Diner Dash one afternoon, while their old fart of a grandfather was in his chair watching the Betty Boop cartoons he got off to back in the day. And that's what inspired the creation of this game. There you have it, the untold story. Okay, I'm only joking, that was just something dumb I made up on the spot. But in all seriousness, it's not horrible, but it's not anything spectacular. I just randomly decided to look and see if there exist any Betty Boop console games and potentially uncover a hidden gem. But all I found was this. But who knows, maybe one day they'll make a new Betty Boop game for Steam and home consoles. Yeah, I could picture it right now. They could release it in 2030, just in time for her 100th anniversary. It could be a 2D platformer that's hand-drawn in the style of the cartoons, just like Cuphead. But in order to make that 2030 deadline, they gotta start developing now. Because we all know how long it took to finish Cuphead. Anyways guys, that is going to do it for this review. Until next time, this is Beneficial Gamer, signing off.